the easiest way to make coins in Hunt is pretty much just play um, competitive seasons. Well, not competitive seasons anymore. Hot champs. <clears throat> For playing hot champs, um, you pretty much are guaranteed like if you're if you're half decent at the game, decent pack. So like this, I played like crap and I got went 12 and 8. Um, I'll show you like how many got the win and what you would get for that. So, say you finished, um, how many people play this? I'll see how many people play and then say like the average finish. Alright, so we'll see top 500. Alright, so if, if you want top 500 in hut champs. You would have to win 10 games, and you get to play 20. So, if you win 10 games, you can either fall from all the way up to 400 sometimes, um, down to like 600, just depending on your round points. So, if say you get 500th place, and you get 10 wins, half of the games, make sure you play all 20 too, if you're going to do it. There's no point of playing... 18 that like this guy could have won the next two games and jumped up all the way to like two two to three hundred so say you get 500 that's like and a player who plays like once like three or four times a week is to get top 500 pretty much if you're that like the average person um would get 500 all right so you would get so I've, I clicked too many times. So if you got 10 wins, you would get for packs. It's very slow. It's not my fault. Is this not going to load? Alright, there we go. So if you finish 500, oh my god, 500, you would get an ultimate pack and a premium players pack. An ultimate pack has 20 80 plus players. You're probably going to upgrade at least one to two positions on your team. Even if you don't pull anything, you can quick sell, you can put it turning into collect your collection, your sets, and get gold collectibles, which you can turn into the event, like, which is always sweet. Um, and a premium player's pack is always pretty good. I think it's five, four or five 80 plus, so that's a chance to get something great. Um, where I finished was like uh, 300 something. So I got, I got the Jumbo Premium Players Pack, which is I think 10 80 pluses or something like that. And I pulled um, a Chris Chelios icon, um, an 80s. Oh wait, no, no, no. That, that's what I pulled in the in those packs. The Hot Rivals is the, also another thing to make coins on, and that's where I got the Chris Chelios and stuff. If you just play the Hut Champs games, you can probably get the gold because every game you play, you get points for Hut Rivals now. So, let's see what you'd get if you did not play one Hut Rivals game. You'd get about 5,000 like I did. I didn't play any. And this is what I got for packs. Two Jumbo NHL Players Packs, two NHL Players Packs, and 500 Hut Champs points. So that's just playing 20 games with Hut Champs. Which is very, very good for not even have to playing both because if you just play the hot rivals there's no, there's no point to not play hut champs if you can get points playing hut champs why wouldn't you just play hut champs um i'm in division one um so like this is the rewards for that i think it's worth it no matter what division you're in to play hut champs and yeah so say so what i pulled in the hot rivals packs um, my I sold my team, so like I don't have like my All Star team in right now. One guy just expired, but I pulled Andrei Sveshnikov. Uh, Huberto what was last week? I pulled him, and I pulled a Braden Point, and I pulled a Jonathan Taze. We upgraded my team very dramatically. Um, this is like last week pulls. So I pulled all that just from playing 20 games of hut champs what else i got I, I pretty much sold it all i'll go to the sold stuff and this is not even a good finish i got an evan bouchard and a fedotenko so that's 35k right there and then i 
I'm sell all these players. Um, this one too. And I sold all my jerseys. So that, those are all the players I got for the tradable packs. So that's the that's hot champs, just hot champs packs. Um, and I have this guy on the market um, for bed for 20 more hours. He will probably get me 100 to 200k maybe. I, I'm not exactly sure how much he's worth, but that is insane. Like amount of profit for only playing 20 games of hot champs. Um, at, if you want the best bang for your buck, I would do 20 games of Hut Champs if you don't have a lot of time. So that's from Friday at 5 to Sunday at 3 a.m. Just get 20 games between that two times and you will you will make your, like, it will be worth your time. Um, another thing is, the second best thing to do is play the uh, squad battles here. Um, you kind of have to be a lot more dedicated, and maybe if you're not as good at the game to get 10 wins, um, I would shoot for Pro 1 as a minimum. You get um, two, two uh, packs where you get 10 um, 80 pluses, and then the, the Mega Pack, which you can get gold collectibles, icons, and stuff too, which and then 12.5k, which is always solid. You're like probably gonna get like two or three eighty fives, but this is not as good as playing twenty hot champs. Trust me. I mean, if you decide to play all these games, it's tough, but do it if you if you think you can get like pro one or higher. I would suggest it. The third way to make coins in this game is make sure you are on top of what's going on. That today is um, Thursday, and um, Friday there's going to be new content. I'm pretty sure it's the new master item or the new event. Hmm. No, it's not going to be the new event, but there's going to be something like big going on because there's always big stuff going on, on Fridays. So this would be a good time to. Make sure you buy gold collectibles. I mean, if there's going to be something... 90% of the time on Fridays, there's new Master stuff. So if you, like, bought gold collectibles or made them, it would be very, very smart move to make. Like, moves like that, depending on the day. So, like, Wednesdays, um, there's going to be a Team of the Week. So I, that's, like, time to, like, sell your players. Bef it's just, like... You just gotta pay attention to what's going on at the moment and make smart decisions based on that. Certain times you need to sell your players, certain times you need to buy players. Like right, right before you're about to get handout packs on Wednesday, which I was saying, I think it's Wednesday. You get Hut Rivals and Hut Champs packs on Wednesday. So that means the market's gonna be flooded. Everyone's gonna be selling people for cheap. That means if you sold on Wednesday, then your card's gonna be nothing. But if you sold like Monday, Tuesday, It'd be mo the most value, and then Wednesday you buy. So like, you gotta make smart decisions. Like if you sold on Wednesday, you'd be losing profit, and it wouldn't be smart. The fourth tip would be, um, never never spend coins on packs. We'll get that out there. That's pretty much it. I mean. I'd say maybe one more thing is try to do the objectives. I mean, the milestone objectives to get the uh, icon collectibles. I mean, that's kind of like you don't really. A lot of people don't attempt to do this, but if you do, like, just strive for that one. It depends if you're offline or online guy. Because when I say get to this, I get four gold or four icons, and then when I say do this, that's eight, and that's like a Gretzky or Lemieux. So make sure you do those, and that's pretty much all. Um, Thank you everyone for watching, um, make sure you sub, like, and if anyone wants anything different, I will try to cover it my best of my ability. So comment below, and peace.